special person has heard that he is related to the person he's presenting. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So I want to introduce you to uh, one of our former presidents who I voted for. He's going to be presenting John Fitzgerald, right? Yeah. Kennedy. Okay. On the floor. JFK commanded the PT-109, a patrol torpedo boat, in 1943. Before, he tried to join the Army, but he was rejected because of his weak back. But then he trained hard and got his back a lot stronger. Then he was able to August 2nd, 1943, the, the PT-109 was ran by a Japanese destroyer and it was cut in half. Two men died and the rest had to swim to an island five kilometers away. After six days, the people were rescued, but because of the accident, JFK had re-injured his back badly. I'm Neil Kennedy. also referred to as JFK. At age 43, he was the youngest president to ever be elected. If you want to know more about John F. Kennedy, you should read John, John F. Kennedy by Judith E. Heger. You can find that at the Darien Library. You can also go online to biography.com or go to history.com. to read and write. He loved to game and play. He attended private schools in New York and Connecticut. In his early childhood, he didn't try very hard at school. He was often sick as a child. Many thought JFK lived a wonderful life. He did live a fancy later in his life, but when he was a kid, he got very got sick very often. He also had he was a kid and didn't even know it. After graduating from Choate Boarding School, he attended Princeton University for a short time. Then he caught a really bad disease and had to drop out. He later graduated from Harvard College. Then he tried to join the Army and the Navy, but, both, but with both he got rejected because of his weak back. Five months later, joined the Navy after the PT-109 rescue, he re-injured his back badly. Later, he, he has had many surgeries to fix his back. Even though he had many injuries and problems in his life, he never threw them away. JFK had many accomplishments in his life. Before he became president, an accomplishment he did was surviving in the was surviving the PT-109 accident. He didn't think being in a crash was heroic, but the rest of the nation did. Once a reporter once a reporter asked him, "How did you become a hero?" JFK jokingly responded, "It was easy. They cut my PT boat in half." As a president, he had a few accomplishments. He started a space exploration program. He start he also started the Civil Rights Act and tried he tried everything he could to end segregation. He even let a black student into an all white university and sent police troops to protect him. But JFK's greatest achievement in his eyes was signing a nuclear test ban because you can only test nuclear JFK died a pretty bad death. On November 29th, I mean, November 22nd, 1963, he was in a, he was in a parade in Dallas, Texas. 
also heard and people saw James take in the hole. They knew James came by good shot. Those two shots had hit his neck and he died several minutes later. It was a sad thing for many people. Many people all over the nation were shocked and couldn't believe it. Over 250,000 people came to his funeral. For many days, people mourned for him. Later, they later they found out Leah Harvey Oswald turned to JFK. JFK was born in a nation person and died an even more amazing person. Many people looked up to him and admired him. I I also looked up to him. I think the most admirable admirable thing he did was to help and defend the nation. He honored the Declaration of Independence by trying to make laws that allowed all African Americans to be equal to white people. In his speech he said, this nation will not be fully free until all its citizens are free. I am also inspired because, because in his life he had many problems and challenges, but he worked hard to overcome them all. What, what is it what does it involve? Um, Do you have any idea what part of the body it involves or what no, what the symptoms really. are? In the PT one oh no, I think. He has to swim five kilometers to the island with someone on his back and that's Oh no, I think he just injured his back from the So I asked a question, this is a learning experience for everybody, I asked a question that he didn't know the answer to. And Levi did a good job just being comfortable saying, I really don't know. One thing you can admit is that you don't know it, and you can say, I'll look it up and let you know tomorrow. Because you will get questions from people you don't know the answer to, and it's okay to say, I don't know, but I'll look it up. Does everybody get that? Yes. Yeah. Let's give um, JFK and if you'll write your messages, I'm gonna take a picture.